Robbie? Uh-huh. Aren't you supposed to be in literature? It's all full up. Okay, they need you in the office right now. You're a teacher here, aren't you? And this is your first year at Rush Martini. Uh-huh. And how long have you been a smoker, if you don't mind me asking? Well, let's see now. How old are you? Fifteen. Since I was your age. You're kidding. You should quit. You're right. And I should buy my own business. Margo? Uh-huh. May I come in, please? Chaz? What's going on? We got locked out of our apartment. Did you call a locksmith? Uh-huh. Well, I don't understand. Did you pack your bags before you got locked out, or how did you? It's not safe over there. Margot Tenenbaum? Yeah. Well, since when? Since always. Does she know? Uh-huh. Well, what does she feel about that? I think she feels confused. Well, I can understand that. It's probably illegal. I don't think so. We're not related by blood. That's true. Still frowned upon. But then what isn't these days, right? Can you see out of it? Not really. Uh-huh. Minor corneal damage. Page me if it spreads to the other eye. What is this, Pele? I don't know. Uh, Steve? Uh-huh. Do you know that you just charted us on a course through unprotected waters? Yeah, we're taking a shortcut. Your engine blew up and all your fuel's been stolen, is that correct? Uh-huh. Well, I certainly know how you feel. Some crooked fucker has just stripped my sea lab, you know. Probably the same dudes. How long are you gonna stay here? What do you mean? He said until the end of the month. Uh-huh. Why do you ask that? I'm just trying to know so I can figure out my plans. What plans? I don't know yet. Anyways, I've got my own ticket just in case. Don't tell Francis. Well, I'm not gonna stay here with just me and him. Mom? Uh-huh. Just one last thing. tell you about my son. What son? The one I'm gonna have next month. Well, you should be with Alice. You should have been at Dad's funeral. These three, in this reporter's opinion, obsessed farmers, remain convinced the fox in question will eventually reappear. Why? Because foxes aren't meant to live in a sewer. They're refugees. All they have to eat down there is, um... Trash! And not much of it. Uh-huh. Thank you, farmers. For Action 12, this is Dan Peabody. Can you read a map? Uh-huh. I do cartography. I feel we should go halfway today and halfway tomorrow since you're a less experienced tiger and you're wearing Sunday school shoes. They're not really Sunday school shoes. Oh, thank you. Hello, this is Captain Sharp. Hello, Captain Sharp. This is Social Services. I'm calling in reference to Sam Shukuski, Ward of the State. I understand he's in your custody. That's correct. What's his condition? Has he suffered any injury or trauma of any kind? He's fine. Very good. How do I get to you? The fastest way would be seaplane. Jed can bring you in with a mail. I'll come tomorrow morning, if that's acceptable to you. Is someone able to provide reasonable care and nourishment for the boy until that time? Uh-huh. Is that a yes? Uh-huh. Very good. Excuse me. Uh-huh. The police are here. They asked for you. Tell them I'll be right there. 
Okay. Are you Monsieur Gustav of the Grand Budapest Hotel in Naples, Bart? Uh huh. Get on the next cable car. Are you Monsieur Gustav of the Grand Budapest Hotel in Naples, Bart? Uh huh. Switch with me. Are you Monsieur Gustav of the Grand Budapest Hotel in Naples, Bart? Uh huh. Put this on and sing. A second will. Right. In case you got bumped off. Right. Uh huh. But they destroyed it. Oh dear. However. Uh huh. I pulled a copy. A second copy of the second will. Right. Uh huh. Well, what does it say? Where is it? What's it all about? Damn it! Don't keep us in suspense, Serge. This has been a complete fucking nightmare. Just tell us what the f is going on. Serge. <laughs> 